Welcome back. I have a question to answer, and I thank Cassandra, Cassandra for sending me this. Can we really separate church from state? It was never combined. Ha! How you like that? It was never combined. And let me see. Um, this world has a majority rule of Satan himself. However, God is in control of all. And in order to be covered fully by God, we must fully live in Christ. There's no straddling the fence. Let me explain, explain the separation of church and state. The church is the church. If you want to get technical, here's the church. When I become one with the state, or the city, or the county, or the country, I am no longer of God. I have to remain one with God, one with Christ, one with the Holy Ghost. If I run for an office, I must live in Christ the whole time. I don't step outside of Christ and then step back in because I know he's going to forgive me. No, the whole time. When I get elected, I have to continue living in Christ. All corruption stops right there. It will not go through me or past me. I will stop it in his tracks. All wrongdoings will stop there. And see, this is the problem. That's why things are so crazy. Because most of these people, and I got to say a high 98 plus percent of people in office, are not Christians, are not saved, are not living in Christ. If they were, I promise you, they would stick out like a sore thumb. They would stick out like a sore thumb. They would be causing all kind of ruckus and everything. Because it would just be like that. All of this evil stuff that's been going on, all of this um, um, money behind closed doors, secret meetings, all of this stuff would be exposed. Because they would be speaking the truth and they would stand on the truth. You have to understand, if a person is living in Christ and running for uh, uh, in an elected position, I'm going to tell you now, All, all of that wrongdoings is, is just going to really just come to an end. I mean, you just have to understand. That's when they live in Christ. But when they bend over and bow down to the powers that be, you know, you get these politicians, they promise you 12 things. Then when they get in office, four years, they give you two of those 12. Four more years, they give you two of those 12. Now they got eight more to go. If that was somebody that was true to God, they wouldn't have lied to you. They would have got all 12 things done in the first time they was in office. Or you would have been seeing them trying to get it done. And like some people, you would see a whole party turn against the President of the United States to say no to just about 80, everything, 98 plus percent. No, no, no. See, this is how it, this is how it is. So you got to understand, church and state were never together. We're never together. I mean, that's just how it is. So there's no togetherness in church and state unless you get some people who are living in Christ to be sitting in some elected official seats. Then the church and state can possibly join together a little bit and um, you'll see a change in this world. But I doubt that will happen because scriptures don't lie. It is what it is. More people are going to go to hell and very few are going to make it into heaven. So to answer the question, how do you, um, let me make sure I get it right. Can we really separate church from staff, from state? It was never it was never together. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that and until next time, be blessed. Hallelujah.